Edge. We set to race over the 1,000 metres and a Wayne Racing they go from that 1,000 metre marker. Stanford Bridge along the far side began smartly. Seven Circle is right there for the international team towards the outside. We got the all green there of uh, Rockabella. They've been followed further back then by Pipette towards the inside of that one. Spiaggio. And they've been followed by Guests of Honour. Cape Flyaways back four or five lengths off that leader. I'm looking for Hayley Turner. She's in the, in the centre and got about five, six lengths to make up towards the outside thrill factor. And our Guests of Honour has lost its speed. They come down towards the uh, 250 metre marker now. And the Stillers looking to move in on the far side. We've got Firing Queen. Then comes Stanford Bridge towards the outside. Pipette is putting a powerful run. And so is Cape Flyaway. Look at Cape Flyaway on the cross grain. Getting the better of Pipette. Cape Flyaway from Pipette. Firing Queen. And in behind that Stanford Bridge. And they're racing from the 1200 meter marker. Xander opt out very smartly. Fashion Scout got a good break. So towards the outside, Oxign. They've been followed by National King has hugged away on the rail. Towards the outside of runners, we've got Lemon Fizz. They've been followed by War Trail. And in behind that Lotte, uh, Thayer's now dropped through the field today. Seven, eight lengths off that leader. In behind that Shine Like a Star. They've been followed in by Paradise Cove over towards the inside of that one. And the Cattle Corner at the back end of the field. Just about as they're about to approach the lane now. And out in front, we got Oxine leads away from Fashion Scout. Xander's back in third. Then in fourth, there we got National King being hurried along by Cosgrave. Over towards the inside of that one, Lemon Fizz. Down the centre, we got Thayer in behind it. War Trail, shine like a star now. But it's Oxine holding on, being hard pressed down the inside. In by Xander, is looking to come back as well. And Xander comes through to pick it up from Oxine towards the outside. And then comes in behind it, Fashion Scout. But Xander's won it from Oxline Fashion Scout. All set, and they're racing away from the 1400 metre marker. Over towards the inside, I will be began smartly. Mumbo Italiano is right there. Up along the far side there, we got uh, Briar King is quite speedy as well. There goes Rebel House. Up along the outside, likes to go and set uh, the fraction. So Rebel House is the leader from Briar King in second. Oreo towards the outside. And they've been followed in by Mumbo Italiano. Then towards the outside of runners there, we got uh, Dogmatism is about four or five lengths off that leader. Jay's man is looking to track that one now. Then comes Richard Strauss. And they've been followed by I Will Be. In behind that one, we got Turnstone. And further downfield to Singaro at the back end of the field. So race him down towards the 500 meter marker now. And out in front is Rebel House. Leads away there from its second. We got Oreo. Over towards the inside of that one, we got Briar King. And they've been followed in by uh, Jay's Man. Oreo's looking to move in towards the inside of that one here we got dogmatism looking to run on as well but for the moment now it's gonna be briar king that picks it up here towards the outside jay's man is putting in a powerful finisher and jay's man and down the inside but jay's man has won it there jay's man will win it there from uh, i think dogmatism got second and tight for third they're racing away from the 1800 meter marker Emblem Honor towards the inside responded well. And they've been followed in by Red Seminole towards the outside. We've got King of the Castle looking to get closer now on my wits alone. Then further downfield to the likes of uh, Maximo is about four or five lengths off that leader. And they've been followed by the Barbadian, in fact, comes to take it over. So the Barbadian now on a soft lead, leads away from King of the Castle in second. In behind it, we've got On My Wits Alone towards the inside, Soleil Royal. They've been followed by Red Scimitar, Maximo's in behind that one. Then comes behind that Crackpot. And they've been followed them by, uh, in behind that Lotte, I'll pick him up now they go through it towards the far side of runners there we got Kirby Ninja and then in behind that one Emblem Honours dropping out of it and they've been followed now by Duke of Destiny as they start the angle into the home turn now a little over 800 metres left to go the Barbadian has skipped away by 7 or 8 lengths from King of the Castle in second Soleil Royal in behind it on my wits alone towards the centre of the track there we got Simmering looking to run on Kirby Ninja's on the far side Soleil 
Sen Roy Ellis also looking to move in as well. Duke of Destiny still got about six or seven lengths to trace down as they come down towards the last 300 now. The Bobania is starting to tire now towards the outside. Here we've got King of the Castle. Maximo is looking to run on powerfully and so too is the Red Scimitar. And right up along the outside, the Cat is getting into us as well as they come into the last 100 Yeah, It's the Cat that picked a crackpot. I should say crackpot that picks it up now from the inside Maximo but it's going to be Crackpot and Crackpot's going to go on to win it from Maximo in second third place got very very tight